Today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 138, verse 18. While this vast multitude waited and conversed, rejoicing in the hour of their deliverance from the chains of, chains of death, the Son of God appeared declaring liberty to the captives who have been faithful. Okay. chains of death came upon us when the fall of Adam and Eve happened because we were no longer in a state of innocence we were no longer in a state of pre-mortality we were in a state of mortality in a life that was full of hardship and that would end with death but the Lord provided blessings and opportunities to make covenants that would eventually result in a Savior being provided. And that Savior was Jesus Christ. He volunteered knowing what was going to happen. And God, God let him do it. God gave the world a gift by giving his, of his only begotten Son, his eldest Son, Christ is begotten because he's the only one that's ever laid down his life and picked it up. He's the first one to have done that. And it's really amazing. And so since the time of Adam and Eve to the time of the atonement, we were all in bondage by chains of death we would all die and that would be it and our choices our choices really affected us and it's just really amazing even with the knowledge of Christ's atonement coming people still made stupid decisions and gave up their kingdoms and gave up blessings that they would have had had they stayed righteous but they allowed the world to get to them and then they ended up in bondage with just more than just chains of, chains of death and so they would have to wait even longer than those bound by chains of death and so the time of the atonement approached and it happened the atonement happened and those who were fa who, who are faithful to it those who were faithful to it those who believed in it those who rejoiced in the thought of being rescued from the chains of death in the chains of spiritual death by Jesus Christ they anxiously awaited this atonement to happen and eventually Christ came and declared that everyone was free from the chains of death he wanted to be everyone was free to look beyond their imperfect selves and to say, hey, I remember that I'm a, children of, a child of God and that I can do great things and that I can prepare for eternity and mortality because I am a child of God and that I can hand all my sins to Christ and go forward from them and better days can come you see we're all captives the captives who are faithful and lean on the atonement they can be delivered by the atonement from their sins and their imperfections and their weaknesses can become strengths you see the atonement brings liberty to those who want it because if the atonement tried to bring liberty to those who didn't want it. It would be like giving a gift to someone who is ungrateful and doesn't want the gift. 
And that would be an infringement upon free agency. So, those who don't want the atonement in their lives, unfortunately, God has to not force it upon them. Everyone to their choices. The choices do have consequences, and really, People need to be aware of that, and I'm sure some are. But I don't know why people would hang on to the chains of their sins and not hand them to Christ when he already died for them. That's like saying the atonement didn't happen. And the atonement did happen. It liberated us. It liberated us and widened our focus. And we should be eternally grateful for that. It liberated us to be able to rejoice and build our eternity while in mortality. That it may just be the best eternity we can have. But everyone's got their choice about whether or not they want to be liberated through the atonement. But choices have consequences, and consequences have far-reaching effects. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.